coming in at number three. We've got Orlando, Florida. Are you looking for an awesome city to move to? Maybe you're just looking to invest? Well, stick around and I'm gonna be counting down the top five hottest rental markets in the beautiful US of A. But before we do, smash and hit that like button and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future video. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Steven with Doorloop. And right off the top, coming in at number five, we got North New Jersey. A hey, Joy Z. A. Hey. I just offended the entire state. All right, so it's got an average occupancy of 97.1% with an average one bedroom costing $2,396 per month. With its proximity to New York City, it's no wonder these New Jerseyans, New Jerseyites, people from New Jersey love to call this area home. You got places like Newark and Atlantic City, and you even get your gas pumped for you, so like, I'm in. North Jersey has seen exponential growth over the past decade in particular. You can see most new developments in Jersey City. Coming in at number four, we got Fort Myers, Florida, or Florida, depending where you're from. Situated right on the sandy beaches of the sunny Florida Gulf Coast, Fort Myers has an average occupancy rate of 96.8% and an average rent of $1,861 for your typical one bedroom apartment. Two hours from Miami, two hours from Tampa, it's the perfect city to chill out and live that Gulf Coast lifestyle. To be honest, of all the places to live by the water in Florida, this is one of the least expensive to do it in. With lots of beachfront real estate still up for grabs, I anticipate Fort Myers will be even higher on next year's top five list. Coming in at number three, we got Orlando, Florida. We got Disney World. We got Universal Studios. That one giant mall. You know which one I'm talking about. Millennia. Orlando's seen an average occupancy of 97% and an average rent of $1,621 for a one bedroom apartment. Downtown Orlando to downtown Disney, there is no shortage of places to go and people to see. What's cool about Orlando is that there is a pretty even mix of all kinds of industries to work in, the top industry being tourism, of course. So it would be a great idea to bippity boppity buy yourself an investment property in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> If that doesn't want to make you subscribe, I don't know what will. Coming in at number two, we got, any guesses? The good old capital of Pennsylvania, Harrisburg. That's exactly what you were thinking, right? As a side effect of COVID, people move from the more populated East Coast cities in favor of remote work or just new work altogether. Offering things like clean sidewalks and friendly people, it was a no brainer for some city folks to move a little more westward. Boasting a 96.7% average occupancy rate and an average one bedroom costing $1,550 per month, Harrisburg has seen a population boom in the last five years and is poised for continued explosion. And don't forget to hurt She's kissed your mama before you set off to Harrisburg. <laughs> you know I have to throw at least one in there. And finally, number one, give me your best guess. Anyone? Mo, any guesses? Great. My hometown, born and raised in the county of Dade, Miami, Florida. <laughs> It's no secret that South Florida has seen tremendous growth in apartment homes over the last decade, but it's exploded in the past couple of years. Three out of the five cities in this list are in Florida and all have experienced booming population growth in the last two and a half years exactly. It's almost as if something happened that drove people to Florida, but I can't put my finger on it. Anyway, welcome. Beaches, traffic, new developments, did I mention traffic? A booming economy and the warm weather are all reasons why people are flocking here. I mean, I lived in LA for five and a half years and I just came back recently. Brickell is nearly unrecognizable to me. There's even this new Mimo district that's a new thing altogether. For better or worse, Miami has seen astronomical rent increases coupled with an average occupancy of 98% and the average rent of a one bedroom at a whopping $2,307. Yikes. Okay, listen. I have an honorable mention, and just hear me out, Boise, Idaho. Listen up, Spud. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a small city, but it's also a small city, and people are flocking there because of it. Think of it this way. When people get tired of the big cities on the West Coast, don't want the heat of the desert down South, and don't want to hang with the Aspen crew in the Rockies, there's Boise. It's a big little city with a steady job market, art scene, and growing developments. If you like what you saw today, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you won't miss a single video. If there's anything you want me to cover, let me know in the comments section and we'll make sure to loop it in. Till next time, spuds.